Hi everyone, welcome back to F1 2020, my team Minardi. And it looks like we're in for a busy old time. So, I think the first thing it's going to ask us to do, oh, we've got the invitational event, okay. Kind of feel a little bit like okay. What would be the first thing that we need to do? Let's dive in here and look at our R and D tree. Do we now have enough? Ah, oh, well, that's now done, isn't it? So we could. Mm, I'd rather use this whilst we've got the. Um, reductions of failure chance and build time decrease so let's dive into that and get that up and running straight away that'll be a great little upgrade for us thank you very much that's the first decision that we have made nicely done our cars come in along quite nicely and once those parts come through over the next month or so well actually in the last little while um, that will bring us back in line with the midfield again, which will be fantastic. The next thing we're going to do... Uh, I'll decide. Bear with me. So let's take a look here. Do we need to renew the sponsor? We're going to renew Pain Knight. Let's renew the sponsor and then let's... Ah, so Jordan King, two and a half million. We don't have another 2.49 million. Oh, come on, Simon. <laughs> let's go to the driver market. We want... I don't... I want to approach Louis Delatraz. He's got more experience, slightly less race car, better awareness, less pace, but we can sort out that. Drives are motivated by more just money. You can make an offer to your driver. The more you offer, the greater the chance of them agreeing to it. But be careful not to insult drivers, though. If you do, they might refuse to deal with you anymore in this negotiation period. And you have time to negotiate for three different drivers each day. You approach driver to give you a list of demands and let you know which you passed and which you did not. Multiple teams are interested in a driver, they'll all be winning against each other. Okay. Your team driver demands. Oh, trophy. Signed on the dotted line. You've confirmed Louis Daly Traz to join your team for Minardi for the next 11 weekends. Yes! Fantastic. Confirm. Done immediately. And look at that immediately on the plus five there. For everything. So we've got Daly Traz in our team. Yes! Yay, chef. There he is. That's my man. Okay. That's helpful. That gets him up to 61, so still not quite as fantabby-dozy as 
what initially the king will start out as. Not got quite enough for the sim. But the first thing we're going to do then is do the PR for second car there. Delatraz is the driver that I want to keep. <laughs> so I want to invest in him where we can, if that makes sense. This is purely just because we've chatted on social media. There is no, there's, there's very little else to go about. Um, plus a fan of his dad uh, and the joy of everything that came through on there. So we've got 1.37 million going on. If we're looking at driver perks... Hmm. Engine wear will be reduced by 20%. That would be useful. So would the resource point boost. I think I'd rather... Wait and do some upgrades on that kind of side of stuff. And start investing in that rather than like me necessarily. Um, so yeah, so let's dive on. Informa invitational event. Japan short. I mean, let's go and see. I can never feel like I'm very good at these invitational events. In the slightest. Oh, so glad I got Delatraz. Is it going to be Della Traz or Joe? We got the deli. Hello again, and thank you for joining us today Hi. for one of the few events this year that won't have a critical impact on the World Championship. So maybe we can all relax just a little bit more and enjoy the action from this wonderful field of historic cars. Okay. Finish the race in under 2.15. Okay. That freaks me out. Oh, doesn't turn quite like I thought it would. Oh, this is very... Um, Soapy is the word I want to use.
don't judge me. Okay, now you can judge me. And we've run out of fuel. A bit naughty on the old uh, flashback, but I don't care. I struggle with those historic cars. Doesn't even give you much in the old uh, XP either. Ah oh, well. We've finished. 150 grand, 1000 acclaim. That will do nicely. Thank you. loading screen to take me to a loading screen. Joyous. Our margins are looking good right now. I think we've got room for some more investment. Uh, what do we want to go for? Did we want to do the durability upgrade? When's our next? Oh, there we go, it's only a couple of days. Our new parts nice. have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Oh, fantastic. Does that mean that. Okay. So they're all going to come after the next race anyway, so that's fine. So this might be a bit of a wonky race to a point but actually we're not too bad um, oh. Let's do resource point generation for now on the powertrain. And that will get us up to a decent capacity then. Then we can look at updating the personnel stuff and other things. The idea with this being that hopefully we'll be able to um, do some R&D on the power uh, unit next. So I'm going to go off and practice for the British Grand Prix. Mm. Uh, I'll catch you afterwards. Hey everyone. Welcome back to Quali, and I think I've made a boo-boo. I'm 
I've pressed us into qualifying a little bit too hasty and I don't think I've changed the parts out the car I left it for the evening and I done it uh, yep ah crap you idiot There is no penalty for this action. Oh, God. We've absolutely buggered it. do we do there's only a few cars out on track we should consider getting out there oh you idiot right remember when you changed i right i changed everything to number three then i exited the game after practice and went to bed and i was like do you know what we'll get up early and we'll do it before work oh what an idiot <laughs> The issue is, is that they're both they'll both knacker the turbocharger and the internal combustion unit. So let's just. Do you know what? Let's go out with what we've got. And do a lap. Just for lols, we'll have to change everything in the settings. This will make an interesting race. I'll say that. Uh, right, car set up. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Seven six on the wings. Uh, if you want to know specific information or make certain changes to the car during a pit stop, you can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system, and you can either speak the command or select it manually from the radio screen that will appear on the multifunction display. While the radio is active, cycle through command groups with the MFD button. Oh, do you know what then? Uh, do you know what? Let's do it and then let's swap it all. We've mucked about enough. If you start to suffer from oversteer, come in and let us have a look at the setup. You will get oversteer if the rear tyres lose grip before the front. Usually this will be coming from a lack of rear downforce or an overly stiff rear suspension, but a little tweak with negative cap. I feel like such an idiot. That's like Williams 2019 inability to get a car ready <laughs> problems. Oh wow. I should have just said yes to the changes immediately and seen if they... Because I wondered if they stacked the timings. I should have checked that out first, really, shouldn't I? As you'll see, I won't even be running at full tilt either because when you've got your engine running that knackered, can you see if my cur uh, my ERS only goes to 90%? Oh, 
that was not great. Not great either. That'll get out of the way because he's busy speeding up for a lap. Not a good look. Session update. Say again, you're breaking up. A session update. Quick position rundown for you. The current top five are Hamilton, Verstappen, Leclerc, Bottas, and Ricardo. So just ahead of us in this session at the moment are Ocon, Raikkonen, and Russell. And we're in front of Delatraz, Norris, and Vettel. Currently, the fastest lap is a 1 minute 25.6. again. I always forget that that pit lane speed limit is so early. could be a Minardi back row. To be fair, Delatraz has been faster than Latifi. And, well, in FP1, Delatraz was 17th and I was 18th. FP2, I was 18th again, Delatraz was 20th. FP3, I was 12th and Delatraz was 20th. So... We aren't necessarily guaranteed last. Oh. But it ain't looking good. No Della Traz on track to show you either. Our best lap so far is a 128.5. Mm, it's not great by Louis. But we knew that Louis was going to not be quite up to speed as King immediately because he's got lower stats in the game. Yeah, real spread out there. Both the Haas's, the Minardi's and the Williams's. Not quite on with the rest. You can see there's a real tier 2, now tier 3. We're 22nd gap, in the speed trap, 199.7 miles per hour. Which I've been bucking a little bit because I seem to be a bit OP on a couple of circuits. Um, Oh, 
Well, that was bizarre. It wouldn't let me change. Why won't you let me change tyres? Okay. It was it was stuck there for a minute. It was as if that Did you see that? I'm sure that wasn't just me. It was like the it wouldn't load properly. Uh-oh. God, now Russell's beat us as well. Twentieth. Oh, oh sorry, Perez that was. Right, let's go to track. Try it out. Engine fired, we're set. Well, if this is going to be the state of our qualifying session, which is being affected by the fact that our car is a bit knackered. Then I don't mind taking grid penalties for all new stuff. But I better be on point when it comes to the race. On the racing point. <laughs> oh, I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to be terrible at work today. I can tell already. <laughs> I'm recording this at like half six in the morning on a Wednesday, just for just for context, because I couldn't be bothered to do one or two a.m. runs on the game. I was knackered. The joy of being a full-time employee and trying to build your own business and run YouTube channels and stuff like that as part of it. Gotta juggle them balls, balls, balls. I also feel like this car's about to explode at any moment. So let's see how we get on. Go, go. <clears throat> it's a better start. This is more like it. I take that loop corner differently quite often. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I felt that not great going in. Two laps of fuel remaining. Yeah, this car's knackered. And we've overdriven. Wow, lost so much in that last sector. I'll go again just to see.
way. Car's knackered. Box this lap. Couldn't receive that. Repeat the message. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. <laughs> Another warning for the pit this bit. Sorry, world. Someone was slow getting away there at the pit lane. I mean, as I said, I didn't feel like I had massive pace here. That's a disappointment because the car is knackered and I buggered my first lap up a bit. Um, I would have beaten Russell, maybe got within the Hasses at a push. Uh, let's find Delatraz so you can see our new teammate out on track. There he is. His red helmet. Which doesn't really suit the car very much, must be said, Louis. Only 21st in the speed trap, so that's not great. Yeah, what I think is the difference between so bet the difference between Delatraz and King, as we saw earlier, is that King is faster on paper in terms of actual pace, but Delatraz has better race awareness. So we might see him getting off to some better starts, uh, maybe gaining a few places here and there where Jordan was getting swallowed up a bit in the crowd. And we can work on Delatraz's pace. We'll be on. Um, We'll be sorting out some stuff, I'm sure. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those oh, who will Christ. be fronting Sons the grid. Hamilton, Leclerc and Valtteri Bottas. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Yay. Cool. So we still beat our teammate Louis there, who only just got ahead of Latifi. So you can see the difference actually in pace-wise between King and Delatraz, at least initially. And this is a poor racetrack for us, so that's fine. The Haases had kind of clawed themselves back onto the Alfa Romeos again. Alfa Tauri's in an Alfa Romeo sandwich. Ocon again off the back of Ricardo. Stroll ahead of Perez. McLaren pulling it out of the bag at the last minute. Oh, I don't want to restart the session. We don't do... We're not that bad on terms of giveovers. Well, Perez went three times. Still didn't beat his teammate. Even the game's got the conspiracy theory against Perez. <laughs> Okay, that pushes us back to an even keel again. I don't feel like I can beat signs. That was not our finest hour, it must be said. Right, well let's swap out all of the power unit and have another go. <laughs> Might as well. Ooh. Okay, so the race is sunny.
past halfway in the season. We won't get to six of each, surely. Maybe five. Okay, let's dive off into the race. Did we do them all? Should we go for a fresh gearbox while we're at it as well? Yeah, might as well. We're starting at the back. Let's just go fresh on everything. <laughs> oh dear. We're off. <laughs> Spending spree. It doesn't financially penalise you for all of those changes, does it? Seems like a strange omission. Although it's one that I'll quite happily take advantage of. Oh dear, right, let's hope this race goes better, eh? Don't think we'll be catching Carlos. Welcome along then to Great Britain and the Great Silverstone Circuit for today's Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone Circuit is one of the longest of the season with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right-handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. <laughs> Not flat out for me. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Max Verstappen and Ricardo, Sainz, Albon, Norris and Lance Stroll, Perez, Ocon, Antonio Giovinazzi and Kvyat, Raikkonen, Grosjean, Kevin Magnussen and George Russell, Delatraz. Latifi, Gasly, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Smith. It's almost time <laughs> for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. 209 place grid penalty. I'm starting back at the beginning of the season. <laughs> I'm back in Melbourne. Oh dear. Grid drop for Gasly though, that'll be annoying for the Alpha Tauri team. Outside shot at some points. Maybe not from there. We will see. Now, starting last, and again, we aren't really fast, fast okay, here. I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks. Okay. I had to have a quick restart because I was... um basically torpedoing everyone down at turn three um so take two we're going for a reverse strategy um although if i keep smashing into everyone down at turn three i might have to change that gasly is on fire off the line and latifi to be fair as well oh that works nicely so far. 
sorry, Magnus said I didn't mean that. Ho 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 ho, nearly. Nice. Ooh, that really... Sorry, George. <laughs> He's lost out two places there. I've really screwed him over. Latifi doing well though. Oh, that looks like a giant field spread. Gasly is so much faster than us. I've just got I've got no way to Brilliant. Nice move. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Are you? is already through. We're approaching the dead window. You'll be on the softs. Oh, that was the wrong way to go on the gears. Front is one point six seconds.
say this all has the feeling of extreme inevitability all over it the problem is is that they're going to come up so fast that they'll try something like this yeah knew it okay you have wing damage this will be a major performance impact and are you okay ah. that was a big one confirm you're okay please vsc deployed the virtual safety car has knew it should have backed out really but i'm ahead going in and then it's just a they leave you nowhere to go My own fault. Back we go. Oh! Okay, box, box, box. We're adjusting the strategy. Come in this lap. Are you alright? Engine off, engine off. Well, that's another way to deal with it. Pierre. Am I coming across? No, it doesn't look like it. He just smashes right into me. That's nuts. Okay. We're not having that either. Just go. Try to stay with him, he might make a mistake. He could still regain the position. Okay, Max has got round Latifi as well. I think I must just have a setup that has got higher wings than everyone else. Okay, well we're coming in this lap anyway. has his drops behind Russell. Come on, Jean. Jean, oh God. Louis. Wrong Delatraz. Such a long pit stop in this place as well. Go, go, go. I'm on it, mate. I'm on it. Bring me an undercut. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops.
So I can take Cops Flat then, but it will be for like a lap. <laughs> that looks like everyone's into the pits. Gasly's in, Russell's in, Delatraz is not. To you, Louis, but that feels wrong. Gasly is stopping now. I've had a net time gain. Even if this won't lead to a net position gain. We have five laps of fuel remaining. That wasn't great. Neither was that. <laughs> Teammate ahead is 21.1 seconds. Delatrice still has not pitted. Oh, that wasn't great. Teammate status. No tie concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. Teammate. We're trailing our teammate by 21.5 seconds. They're on old softs. They're in eighth. The time last nice. lap was a 1 minute 31.3. the teeth in. Delatraz still has not pitted. What is going on? What are you doing, Delatraz? <laughs> Yellow flag. Oh, who's out? anyone. I felt like I ran wide there. It's signs! The miracle! The miracle! Green flag. Louis is in the pits. Louis in the pits. Yay!
yes, this has been our least competitive race since Vietnam. I'm okay with this because signs is out. Gap to car in front is four point three seconds. get done by K-Meg as well, you know. Dropping a second a lap to the car behind, one second. Wow. Zero pace. Got our trousers all over Latifi. if he can get past. But those two have the <clears throat> the freshest tyres. Oh guess he's got an erosion. At Stowe. Oh no. I think this might give a really good indication for where we're going to be at Monza. Because I've not developed that power this is your unit. Final lap, final lap of the race. burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. Mm. Depression. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Gasly did do some good overtakes, actually. I thought he was going to yes, get some, some amazing people well off the done. line, the but it didn't really 
all kind of like stacked Sorry, into Anthony, each other at turn one, didn't we? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this mm, one. I don't think ever, it did. It's not just about speed. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint. Because unlike the real F1, so for some reason on this track, time, there doesn't seem to be any difference between compounds. On the tires, that's really where the race was won today. And in the points. So Hamilton wins the home Grand Prix. Much like the reals. No punctures, though. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Let's take a look at the driver standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves yes, further is. ahead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. So as you see in the stand-ins there, actually, it was very two by two. And those that aren't two by two were out of place. So Gasly brought himself back into play of the Alpha Tauri, but was out of kind of place. Um, Delatraz behind the two Williamses, but really we should be ahead. That's him new to the car. New driver in F1, therefore has lower stats. And the two Hasses there, Alfa Romeos. Ocon out of position in terms of Ricardo, but that was from Quali more than anything else. If you actually look at... Oh, do you know what? No, look at the lap times. Wah, wah. Ricardo well over exceeding what's going on there. Kvyat just outside the points. Both racing points in, as was Norris. Then the two Red Bulls, two Ferraris, two Mercedes. Just a mechanical failure for signs in the end. No accidents. So, Leclerc gets past Verstappen in the battle for third. But Hamilton pulled away there, as did Bottas, as the Mercedes stretched their legs. Ricardo leapfrogs signs as they come after me for best of the rest. Delatraz gets himself on to the score sheet. Yeah, as expected. Renault leapfrog Minardi. We are now down to seventh, which I'll be happy if we maintain. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but what it's frustrating because your thoughts because the, the setup felt what really good the field the race? Mm. you're breaking all expectations what's your secret Having a great team and a great car. Interesting result today. Would you say that you're happy with your performance? Yeah. Is there anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? We finished. <laughs> um. Ooh. I don't know, car great. Chassis is so good this season. It is the chassis. The chassis is doing really well. Great. Well, that's everything. You're welcome. Plus, I know exactly where my bread is buttered for what I want to upgrade next.
Oh wow, so even though he doesn't get a penalty, because he didn't finish, it doesn't know that he wasn't penalty free. That's cheeky. Yay, good stuff. Dermatra is now back up to acclaim rank 5 after his first finish. Could go better for you, mate. Oh, I didn't mean to press X then. Ugh, what a janky episode. Sorry, everyone. We wouldn't have got the finish 12 or higher. I don't think we would have got the bonus because we got hit. So we'd have only just got the completed 50 laps. And our turbo has failed. Great. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those mid-seasons. Thank you very much for watching that episode. You guys will take care and I'll catch you again here on Higher Plane Games. Bye for now.